Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can include a PowerPoint presentation in your blog post or in Google Sites. So, if you've already created your presentation, you need to upload it to OneDrive. And you can see I have my sample presentation here. And now I've opened it. And in the right hand margin, you'll see a little menu next to Share with People. Select that and choose the embed option and now you'll see a few different sizes that you can use you can also customize one of these sizes if you would like so let's say i have 6 by 10 or 610 by 367 if i want to modify a little bit make it just a little bit smaller i could go in and i could change that code to be something like 590 or 580 by 357 so you can modify it a little bit if you want to but I'm just going to copy this code as provided. So just highlight it all and then copy it. You can use Control C or Command C or right click and copy it. Uh, either way will work. And now let's go, go ahead and put it into an EduBlogs post. So if you're using EduBlogs for your uh, classroom blog or your school blog, just select Add New and then write out your post title. We'll just call this one sample presentation. And it's important to make sure you're in the text editor and not in the visual editor. So we want to make sure we're in the text editor. And then you can write anything you'd like above this and say this is a sample presentation from Monday, May 28th. And then you can paste your code down below and publish it and let's go ahead and view that and see what it looks like here on EduBlogs and so there's my presentation now available to load and you can click through it of course I only have one slide so there's not a whole lot to click through in this presentation now if you want to put it into Google Sites let's take a look at how to do that so I'm here in Google Sites and I'm using the new version of Google Sites in the insert menu on the right hand side pick embed, choose embed code instead of URL, paste the code into place, click next and insert. Now it's important to note that by default Google Sites makes this box too small to show the full presentation. So just click and drag until you've expanded the box as much as you need it to be. There it is. And now publish and we'll be able to view that when it's done publishing let's take a look and we can see it's just waiting to load and there it is so now we have our slideshow included inside of Google Sites and last but not least if you're using blogger just go to your blogger blog create a new post and again we'll select we'll put in our title and just say sample presentation number two and again important to switch to the HTML editor and not the compose editor so HTML editor paste in the presentation and then publish it and just like before you can write above or below just like we can do in EduBlogs in Blogger you can write your text above it you might say something like this is a sample presentation made on Monday then if you switch to compose we'll see there's our text right above it you can even go in and space it out and add some more down below if you'd like publish a post and you're done. So again, the most important aspect of this is to make sure you upload your PowerPoint to OneDrive, then open it so you can get the embed code from the right hand menu over here. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.